Hey folks, Midwest Crappie Man. Today we're gonna do something a little different, something we've never done on my channel. We're gonna do a catch and cook. We're gonna do uh, crappie, morel mushrooms. So first I'm gonna show you how to catch crappie, then I'm gonna show you how to find morel mushrooms, then I'm gonna show you how to cook them. Something different, we're gonna try it. Uh, I think it'll be awesome, so stay tuned. All right folks, I'm at Salem Springs State Park today. You gotta check this place out, 3,000 acres. It is freaking awesome. Awesome crappie fishing bass fishing, cat fishing. They stock trout in this lake. It's almost 50 foot deep in some spots. Come in here, you can get live bait from this guy. Pop food, snacks. They got camping, two different huge camp spots. Anything you want. This guy's here all the time. Live bait, hot food, hot breakfast. He'll take care of you. You can rent a boat if you don't have a boat. You can rent a motor everything he's got the gear for you if you need it you can come out here get taken care of by good people this place is awesome big fish big 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 fish big woods Asylum Springs State Park West Central Illinois check it out look at that crappie giant giant fish in this lake that's a 16 inches. 16 inch crappie. We had an 18 inch caught two days ago. Sunday. He's got 18 inch crappie in this lake. There's big crappie in this lake. Like I said, it's trout stocked. It's got everything you need. Bait if you need it. Tackle. Terminal tackle. Forget your sunglasses. Minnows. Minnow bucket. You name it. So check it out. Come give him some business. I sent you. I only brought one bass rod with me and two crappie poles. Let's see what the crappie do. It's about nine o'clock. I'm gonna go mushroom hunting. This place is freaking awesome. There's kayaks, John boats, big old lake. Oh, reaching almost 50 foot deep in spots. See, right now, we're at 35 feet. on this one that's a decent crappie power bay oh gosh darn it so I didn't have the net ready I was a power bait in a Bobby Garland Got a crappie on the Bobby Garland. Bobby Garland and Power Bay. Gosh darn it, I can't keep them on with this.
got another one. Let's see if I can keep this one on. Finally, on the jig. That one didn't cost me a minnow. Okay. At one pole with a minnow on, one pole with a Bobby Darling, uh, uh, monkey milk, baby minnow, on like a 16th ounce jig head with a uh, with two sartreuse power baits. All right, folks, not a great morning. Eight crappie, eight of them. Better nothing. That run for a minute, now we're gonna go in the woods. See if we can't find some old fungus. Do catch and cook, have a little uh, crappie and mushrooms. My favorite meal of the year. I wait all year for crappie and mushrooms, so hopefully we can make it work out. I don't know, they have a rooftop boat ramp, big gazebo with uh, barbecue grills and a couple docks that go out you can fish off of. Okay, that's kind of sketchy. I fell down that before. Whoa. This close, they go way out in the woods. Nice. Yeah, I'm surprised it's still the reception down here. <laughs> you won't for long. found our first mushroom folks here in this creek bottom yes sir right there it be pretty dry too well it's a mushroom it's a start Hope I see another one. Oh, 
crappy mushroom. This is a guy. What I'm doing is I'm pacing back and forth in this bottom. Everything washes off down in this bottom. See the mushroom. one so far. Look at that. And they go up the hill. That's what we've been looking for. Yeah, look at that. I'm being quiet because I don't we're in a state park. I don't want to be hooting and hollering. going on. A bunch more. Something took a chunk out of that one. Alright, first off, after we fillet them, after we cut up our mushrooms, I want to dry them. I've soaked them. I soaked them in salt water. So from both this and salt and lemon juice, this is just salt water. Then I want to dry them. I'm going to dip the mushrooms in an egg and water wash. I'm going to dip the crappie in milk so that fat gets into the crappie a little bit. And for the crappie, use this Andes fish bread. Now I usually get the red. It's got paprika in it. So I got that. And for the mushrooms, I'm going to dip them in there. We have real fine, real fine crunched up saltines. So that's how we'll batter both of these. Then I got a cast iron skillet out on the grill, getting hot. We're gonna get to 350 degrees. We're gonna cook the mushrooms first. Then we're gonna throw the crappie on. Once this gets up to 350 degrees, we're gonna dump them mushrooms in there. It'll just take a couple minutes. And we're gonna dump the crappie in and you talk about heaven on earth. Oh yeah. Come on, Bella. All right, flip them over halfway in the back, dog. Oh, yeah.
That's exactly what we're looking for, that color there. Cook them, but you don't want to overcook them. Good dog. <laughs> 